Hello once again, my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Last episode, we finished up all of our investigations as to who possibly 86 Nagito. I still think it's a suicide, uh, but who knows. Can I say that within a minute? I'm pretty sure I can, hopefully. And if not, YouTube, why? Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this class trial started. Alright, obviously, we gotta always check on our little Chibimi Chibimos. Uh, Chibimi Chibimos is doing okay. And, yeah, we're all done. Let's go get it. Let's get it started. Now then, let's begin with yeah, the I, I, I know this. You vote. Oh, I know this. Oh my! Monami? My cute little sister? You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? Monami's determined. That's what she is. She's determined to fight. You've of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? Shisto! What the fuck? <laughs> Why you just gotta punch her like that, dude? And look at that. She's still determined. <laughs> Even then, she's still determined. Oh my God, Monami's ready to fight. It's useless. Please stop. I feel bad for Monami. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monami. The class trial has started, after all. And we got to figure out who murdered Nagito. The victim this time is Nagito, who was attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious! I still think it's a suicide to somehow lure the traitor out. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Don't tell me you're the traitor. Oh, we got all it's got it's got all of us being like pointing guns at each other. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito is here, right? Are they the same person? Or I don't know. Oh my god, wait, what is it gonna give me? Oh shit, what's it gonna give me? Uh I mean I guess torture wounds. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. That's true. The I feel Nagito's that. Body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely hmm. the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb first. Uh, Sonia's account. So I need people. Sonia. I found it by coincidence. There's no way I torture. Oh, Fuyuhiko. Why did the killer have to torture Nagito? No, were the wounds on Nagito's body really caused by torture in the first place? Killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was What if I wounds? shoot it with the torture with torture wounds? Because the killer tortured Nagito. No, that's not right. Crap. Um the Killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm duct tape? You, they were torturing him. What about the, the duct tape? Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Okay, so it is the duct. So it was the duct tape. Okay. Okay, that's what I thought it was. His mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. Hmm. Kazuichi's coming to fight. Dude, Kazuichi's coming to fight. Uh, I just realized it. It's a trap. A trap? Stupid Hajime. You got caught in that trap. What are you talking about, Kazuichi? Stupid? What are you talking about?
Um... I'm only- I'm gonna put it on the burned rope. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was you obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. No. What are you talking about? If you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention. This is how at first the killer tortured Nagito and got yeah. information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him... Damn it. It's gonna come back. Okay, okay. Nagito's mouth was taped shut. He obviously assumed he couldn't talk, right? But yeah. that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. That's not What? Bitch, I hit that! Bitch, I hit that! Excuse you. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention, this is how it went first. The killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. No. And after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. Um, ooh, um. That was close, you guys. Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the Torture trash. wound. But clearly contra- wait, hold on, wait, what did that say? Wait. Uh, the tape Nagito's mouth after getting information from him, true, that sounds reasonable, but that clearly contradicts the truth. So it had to have been... If he had listened to me until the very end, it wouldn't have gotten into trouble in repeating myself. This is how it went first. The killer tortured okay. Nagito got information about the bomb's location. No. Then, after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. Wait, they... No. Crap. Hold on, so... Attention. This is how it went down. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. So that would be... Then, after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. It had to... It has to be that one. Unless I... Unless I... Crap! Pay attention. This is how it... First, what if I save something? Nagito got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him... Oh, wait. No, after they killed him. Wait, the Spear of Gungnir. No, it still has to be the- it still has to be the death tape. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Why- why is this not working? Survival Knight. It has to be the torture- Torture wounds, right? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Torture. It has to be torture wounds, right? Well, then, hold on, because. After they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut, but the duct tape contradicts himself. They duct taped his mouth shut. So it still has to be the duct tape. Whew, that was close, you guys. Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the trap. So it still it still has to be the duct tape, right? First, the killer Torton got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him. Okay, so I just did it early. I was just doing I was just doing it early. Okay. No, there's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? You might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. No, the duct tape matters. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always side with Kaji Man? Do you have a crush on him or something? No, it's because it's fucking logic, Kazuichi! Are you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? <laughs> Yeah. The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. Maybe. Probably. It's like I said at the beginning, the tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. I don't know. Nagito's pretty crazy like that. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. 
Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, it's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? I mean, you tell me, Akane. You were the one that almost choked him out because you were trying to get the answer from the from the bombs come through. No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? I can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? Nagito himself because he's fucking crazy. Because we were all there. Occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Like I said, Nagito is the only logical explanation. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Because it was set up by Nagito. I don't know why Nagito would commit suicide like this, but... It ha it's the only logical explanation. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? The Monokuma stand standees. I, I do not know that, but that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Simp! Alrighty then. Let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? Damn right it is! Love her. The reason for the fire, huh? That's right. We still need to clear that up first. Reason for the fire! Give me Monokuma! Sandies, dude! Manakuma Monokuma panels! It's either that or the oil lighter. The direct cause of the fire was... The oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Yes. The killer used some kind of setup. Yes. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Yes. Oh. Some kind of setup? Yeah, some kind of setup. Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. They didn't do the, throw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Yep. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. Not invisible thread. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Oh, with sound waves? Ew, gross. I didn't see the sound waves part. Oh, I'm stum. God, this is so long. It can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way. Wait, why can I not shoot those? Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. Not invisible thread. Should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Not sound waves. Opening the door cost. There it is. I agree with that. Opening the door, bitch. That because I was like tipping it over. I didn't see the sound waves part. Opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. No, Sonia, but I love you. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? Correct. It looked like they were scattered everywhere. Yes. But some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? Yeah, it means that it tipped over the... It means that it tipped over the lighter, which would then cause the fire to erupt. The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. A domino effect? You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? Yes. In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So it just knocked over. Open the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. As well as um play the MP3, so or like play like the music, so in that way we wouldn't hear them getting knocked over. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? Give me MP3 player. And one other thing to hide the domino effect. Uh, give me the MP3 player. I see. Thank you. You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That hymn blaring throughout the warehouse masks the sound of the falling panels. The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were so used to the bright sunlight outside. Within the darkness, a loud hymnal blared through the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagato like listening to this distressing crap? No, I'm talking about the music. I'm not talking about the music, that's what it was. As if on cue, it suddenly started. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. Was it? It's fine, I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, I'll be fine! Oh, so it's talking about, um, it was trapped, so it had to emulate force. So that way it could knock over each other. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? It's not opening! Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it! I knew it! It was the trap! Seriously, just stop it, okay? Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? I just gotta use a little more force! Would have to open it slowly. Akane ignored the protest and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Bam. Uh. The door was being blocked by a monokuma panel. Yeah. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah. And that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. Yeah. You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? It should have, at least. But the blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? Yeah, what what are you what are you thinking, Chiaki? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. If the door was the only entrance to the warehouse. So the problem is here, uh the killer couldn't have left. I see. The killer couldn't have left, which is why I'm saying Nagito did it. If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now that you mention it, does that mean they were hiding inside? No, because all of us were out there. Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. So it had to have been Nagito. Based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. It had to have been Nagito. Huh? You don't mean... But if that's true, this murder... Um, Hajime? What do you mean? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. Alright, you fucking bitch, where are you, Nagito? Nagito Komaeda! This is my answer! What if it was Nagito? That's what I was saying from the beginning. I was like, I'm pretty sure Nagito just like committed suicide or whatever. Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? You could have all- it, like I said, it could have been suicide. Not just the victim? What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? Don't be stupid. Nah, all the leads lead to a suicide. The only thing that doesn't match up is a poison. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? He easy. He did that to himself. Are, are you saying those 
were all self-inflicted? Indeed. That is exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying that he did this on himself because Nagito is fucking insane, dude. But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? Not his right arm. Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Y yeah as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? Exactly. His left arm. The burn mark on his left arm wanted to make us think that he couldn't do that, but I was like, bitch, he's still intact. I was like, that's why I was saying, like, I was expecting him to be charred the fuck up because he was in a fire. However, since he was far away enough from the fire, he wasn't even being able to burn his body. So I was like, why the burnt up rope? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. No, it's possible. Like you said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but... I feel like I'm overlooking something. Give me burnt rope! Either give me burnt rope or give me Monokuma plushie. Alright, I'm gonna go burnt rope first. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! I wish it was impossible, but it's not. One thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. Exactly. You couldn't yeah. do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Uh, no. Or if you use your front tail. Front tail, guy, it did. Dirty joke. Is that a dirty joke? All right, I know where I'm going for. I know what I'm going for. If our assumption that Nagito committed suicide is correct, Nagito should have tied himself, himself up too. That's okay, right? Yeah. To actually tie up your own arms, that's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is what tying both arms would be. You couldn't do much with the. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you used Oh, I fucking missed it again. Dirty joke. Is that a dirty joke? I missed it. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? To actually tie I can do this without time. Couldn't do much. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. What? Crap. How is that not? To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Tying hmm. just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. The monokuma plushie? You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? What am I missing here? To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Tying just the legs is what tying both arms would you couldn't do much with the it'd be impossible if you were by yourself. Nope, that's not right. Tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Is this a memory one? Tying just the legs of tying both arms would Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, fucking really? If you use your teeth or use your front tail. Um to actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Okay, so it's not that one. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your dirty joke? Is that a dirty joke? I think. I think what I'm missing here is to actually tie up your own arms and legs. This That's one. Obviously impossible. Tying just the legs of tying both arms. Would... You couldn't do much with. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. No, if you were by yourself. If you were by yourself. I'm trying to think here. That's obviously impossible. It has to be the burnt rope, Tying right? Just the legs is one thing, but... Tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the... It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Or you use your front tail? Is it that one? Or use your front 
That's obviously impossible. What the fuck is what am I what am I missing? Or use your front tail. What the fuck? There, it has to be. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is tying both arms. But you couldn't do much with the. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth or if you use your front tail? No, that's not it either. So what? It has to be the burnt rope. It has to be the burnt rope somewhere. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. No, that's it was the first one. What? Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? Oh my god, I hate this game sometimes. Oh my god, I hate this game sometimes. What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were... No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. Nope. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But however, his arms should have also been burned. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. The proof that, um, his right sleeve. I see. Okay, yeah, bring back up my health, please. I need my health. Let's look at his right sleeve. <laughs> bring back up my, 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 my thing, please. The sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. No, I don't want to feel your tits! Like, thank you! I'm flattered, but I don't want to grab your tits, girl. Akane, you should not give it away for free! Make sure they pay you first. Sonya's here for the prostitution lifestyle, sis, and I'm here for it. That's definitely wrong. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. Oh, Fuyuhiko, what's up? I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? That's where the Monokuma plushie comes in. It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah! That much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin. Not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back? What the heck? Hold on. There should be a way. Then hurry up and spill it. The Monokuma plushie. It has to be the Monokuma plushie. You give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest. Uh, a way to stab yourself in the right hand using only your right hand. It's okay. There's definitely an answer for this. Okay, give me the Monokuma plushie. Give me the Monokuma plushie, Miss Ma'am. Please and thank you. There you are. Give me your face. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air, no. And let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? No. Is he a throwing knife expert? No, definitely not. Maybe he propped the knife somehow? BAM! I agree with that. The Monokuma plushie! Why do you think it, there's a hole in it and it's covered in blood? The life-size Monokuma plushie! He must have used that to prop the knife! It makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. PERIOD! He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up. Then he slammed his hand onto it. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. Definitely, period. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. I... I see. So that's the trick. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. A bleeding plushie is super scary! It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long! Oh god, don't make me think about that. That's creepy. After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? 
I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. What's the problem? The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear. If you think about the order, getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. Uh-huh. If that's true, how is that possible? He hung it from the girder, and he held onto it with his... I don't know how he was able to grab, uh, keep it onto there with, with so much pain, but he did. He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. Th there is a limit to his constitution. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm sorry, I... Didn't catch all that. Oh my god, you fucking nasty whore! Guy is it pinche boca, I don't wanna hear it from you! Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Shut up, you fucking nasty whore! You fucking nasty simp you that you are. Hey bastard, you better cut it out. Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I also agree with that. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. Yeah, I know, straight up. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. Love that. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. Like I told you, Monami's ready to fight. Ah, Monami's sassing me. As is, uh, you know, deserved. But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far. So this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted. And it's too convenient. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But this seems like a suicide. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. No, there is definitely a way. I did say difficult. But I never said impossible. Huh? I feel that there's... Some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. And I know exactly what that way is, bitch. Give it to me. What kind of way? Give it to me! I don't know. You don't know. I know! It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Everyone. Working together. Uh-huh. I'm done with this anime bullshit. I want to play the game. She's right. We made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then even now. All right, let's do this. I know exactly. I know it. I either need the girder or I need the um. Girder so, uh blood on the left hand. Duct tape. Monokuma oil lighter. Blood on the left hand. That's the only one that I can think of. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. It was tied up, but... And that rules out his left hand. Nope. No, it doesn't. No, that's wrong. No, it doesn't. He can still grab shit with his left hand. Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? It was tied up? Like, yes, you couldn't move your arm, but you can still move your hand, sis. But there was something off about his left hand. 
The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splattered, that's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain, but it's not the only unnatural blood stain. His fingers. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand, around the metal joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? That means he was have been gripping something. We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. I'm gonna go into a fucking hangman's gambit. I don't want there's to. Blood on his palm and the back of his hand. What was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? It was grabbing. Uh, gripping. I see. It was okay. Thank God. I was like, I did not want to go into a handmaid's gambit. He was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange-looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? Oh my fucking God, Gaiate! <gasps> Perish the thought. He was obviously grabbing the spear. Now that you mention it. Compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. No, it's not. That's right, that's the problem. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Just fucking smack that bitch. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Really? Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, thank you. Which, uh, he was holding onto the cord. He was holding onto the cord. Let's see. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Yeah. Isn't the size of that cut off section about the same size as a human fist? Ah, oh, you're right. So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then the blood that was supposed to end up here was go what ended up on Nagito's hand. Ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. Yep, straight up. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? Because then you could put the little angle on it. It could go above the girder and then stab him when he lets go. You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? No, he had that set up on already. That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Nagito was gripping the cord extension from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself in the stomach with the spear? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? I love tea time! Yes! Oh yeah, tea time! <gasps> At a time like this, how about we stick to... The plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once. That's a long plan, name. Oh my god, love that. One step at a time? What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. It had to have been above him. How it was positioned? It had to have been above him. Nagito was facing up and the spear was stabbing through his stomach. So if it was just before that... That's it. Could it be the state of the spear and the fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attachment? If I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. What the spear was and what the state of Yes! Give me logic dive! Give me logic dive! Thank you! I love logic dive. I hate Hangman's Gambit, though. I just realized I'm almost dead. So, Hajime, you better make this fast. Hajime, you better make this quick. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, triangles to jump. Ooh, hoo, 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 I almost just because I was trying to figure out um controls. Ooh, don't, 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 don't. Come on, Hajime. Uh, where was the spear? Just it was above Nagito. It was above Nagito. Okay. Ooh, baby time. Oh, oh, baby, baby. 
Oh, oh, baby. Oh, fuck. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 rough. Rough, ba oh, shit. Rough, baby. Oh, fuck. Fucking really? Okay. Rough, baby. Okay, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful around here. Ah! Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. What am I doing? <laughs> I've never seen those ones before. Besides the sphere, what else was above Nagito? A ceiling girder. A ceiling girder. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. Ooh wee. Oh fuck. <laughs> ooh wee. Ooh wee. Ah! <laughs> no. Slow down. Slow down. Fucking really? I should have been able to pass that. Okay, you're bouncing between those two. You're bouncing between those, those two, those two. That should be fine. Jump, bitch. Ooh, bitch. Okay, question three. What item connects both the uh the spill to seal in the uh the spear's cord? Right? Unless I'm wrong. Okay, I am. I am right. Cool. No. Okay, okay, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, I did it! <laughs> like I said, I knew this! The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? It was hanging off of a girder. If Nagito did that all by himself, did he have some sort of ESP? No. That'd be awesome, but... He probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder, and using that as a support, he hoisted the spear directly above him. Yeah, definitely. Just like that. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. Yeah, by his, by, by his blood from his left hand. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. He really committed suicide? Like that? He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason they go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. Exactly. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then... this is for real? That's the only logical thing I could think of. The only thing that doesn't match up is what about the poison that was in his room? He really committed suicide? Every single wound on his body. That was all him? Not just that. He did all that while he was gripping a spear? Uh-huh. Yeah. That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Did he put the duct tape on his mouth, too? He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Yeah, pal I mean, look at how fucking demented his eyes are, bitch. Did he need to go that far? He wanted it to look, look like it was a murder, probably. That's beyond crazy. Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. It's <sighs> because Nagito's fucking crazy. Was to get us all executed. That's why he stabbed himself over and over again. Did he want us to die that bad? That's messed up. That's seriously so messed up. I know. Like I said, Nagito's a fucked up kind of bitch. Yeah, that's our Nagito. Jeez. Now I'm starting to feel a little sympathetic towards him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimated his compa uh, his capacity for malice. A mind bodily malice that threatens us even after he's dead after he's died. That's the form his malice took. I've forgotten all about it until now. If he was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. 
He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Yeah, that's where. I yeah. Hmm. Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. Probably. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. He tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? Sonia, what are you thinking, girl? Sonia, what's going on in that little head of yours? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. True. You are right, I suppose. But she has doubt. What about it? Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. Hmm, that should be okay, right? Right? Why are we all having doubts? <laughs> You're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. What is it? It's probably just my imagination. No, 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 no. If it's your imagination, you gotta spill it. You gotta spill it, girl. Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake or assume that Nagito committed suicide, but why do I feel so uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is, or...? So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? No, this seems too short. What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. What about the poison? That's my thing. What about the poison that we found in his room? Then it's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to read such a happy ending, right? Then it's okay? It's okay to say, you decided on the killer? I don't... This doesn't feel right. Understood. Then voting tax. No, hold on a sec. <sighs> hold on? Why? We're all uneasy by the facts. If we can't be 100% certain, no. Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. I'm I'm thinking about the poison that we found in his room. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Huh? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But... I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense. And it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Which is? Something related to Nagito's death is so... S and it's something that even he couldn't have messed with? You're gonna keep going? Here, I thought we were finally finished. No, a something related to a piece of evidence that he even he couldn't mess with. Monokuma's account? Crap! Chiaki's worried about something else. What, what else is Chiaki worried about? Something that he couldn't mess with. Something that he couldn't mess with. Crap! Nope, that's not it. Something related to Nagito's death that even he couldn't mess with. What am I missing here? It's gotta be one of these, right? Crap! 
No, that's not it. It's gotta be one of these, right? <sighs> Hold on. It's just because I don't want to die. I'm... Uh, Danganronpa 2... Uh, trial 5? I'm pretty sure it's trial 5. Hold on. Where is it? 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 I see. Monokuma Monokuma's file? Is it about the Monokuma file? Yeah. That's it. It wasn't anything else? Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? The victim is Nagito Komaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be at noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and knife and- Oh, it doesn't do the, co the cause of death, I completely forgot about that. The suspicious part of the Monokuma that Chiaki is worried about is... Cause of death? What is it? What hidden inside the Monokuma is- I'm pretty sure it's the cause of death. I think it's the cause of death. There's no way I'm beating this- beating it this time. I don't need that one. There we go, thank you. Thank you. Oh god! Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit! Oh my fucking god, really? Oh god! Oh god. What? What? Oh god. Alright. Yeah, I was like, I had no, I had no, I had no health. I couldn't, I, there was no way. There was no way. There was no way. There was, yeah, of course I would like to retry. I had no fucking health. I had no health. <laughs> of course I would like to retry. Thank you. Okay. I need cause of death. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna keep with my my regular because this one All right, thank you Okay Because everything's fucking flying at you like Cleopatra Uh, no, no! Oh, fuck you! Dude! Fuck off! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, I need an F, I need an F, I need another F. Oh god. Oh my god. Mm, fuck off! No, don't hit it! Don't hit it! Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, that's the fuck- that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Fuck! I need an A, please. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate- I- I, th I told you, I fucking hate this minigame. I hate this minigame, and I hope that you know that. I hope that you know that, sir. I hope that you know that, sir, that I hate this fucking minigame. In this particular case's Monokuma file, there's no specific cause of death. Not only is there a spear stabbed in the stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. But the cause of death is obvious, is it not? 
the spear in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. Well, that's the easy way out. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. Well, Monokuma? I plead the fifth! There he goes again! I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say. But even during Gundam's case, and before during Nikon's case, to think he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. Are you saying that applies this time too? Ho hold on a sec. Then are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. Yeah, but oh my god, I don't know. I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but but it's not just a suicide. Come to think of it, did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? Oh my god, no, it's understandably so, though. That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? No. Nagito was more clever than that. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. Shut up. What friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? No, I say cancel. I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. You're right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Just to be safe, huh? Guess I have no choice. That's the case. I'll do my best to go along with it. Thank you, Fuhiko. I love you. This is friggin' annoying. I hate you. <laughs> You're a second best boy, but I hate you compared to Fuyuhiko. If you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma. You heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait. We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be alright. Alright, it's fun. That's what I believe. Oh, Splendid. You guys are so splendid right now. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. Oh my god. This is rough. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. The absolute hope that can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. Then the situation we were in might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. Are we going into intermission now? Oh, intermission time! Oh, love that! Fuck! <laughs> Alright! And with that, I am going to go ahead and pause the episode right there. Thank you all so much for watching! My name is Veed, I hope that you had a wonderful time watching this. I hope that you had a wonderful time watching me... First off, say that Nagito committed suicide, but now we have more to discuss after this because it's goddamn Nagito. Anything can happen with that boy. The fuck? Uh, make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe button, below. I have a full YouTuber out. Make sure to hit that notification bell so not wait to miss one any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.